time, back to that breaking news from the Department of Justice. The U.S. Attorney General filing a lawsuit challenging Texas's abortion law. Joel Eisenbaum rejoins us now from the newsroom with more on this. Joel. Yeah, the Attorney General hinted that he would be taking action earlier this week, and he did just that today. So let's talk about it real quickly. The crux of that new lawsuit, that 30-page complaint was filed in an Austin federal court accusing our state of adopting a, quote, unprecedented scheme to protect the law from legal challenges by giving the power to citizens to sue people who have an abortion and sue people who help them. The federal government is now asking the court to declare the law invalid and stop Texas from enforcing it in any way. This leaves women in Texas unable to exercise their constitutional rights and unable to obtain judicial review at the very moment they need it. This kind of scheme to nullify the Constitution of the United States is one that all Americans, whatever their politics or party, should fear. All right, so here's the other side of it. Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton released this statement on the announcement saying, quote, today the Biden administration sued every individual in Texas. Biden should focus on fixing the border crisis, Afghanistan, the economy, and countless other disasters instead of meddling in states' sovereign rights. I will use every available resource to fight for life. That's the quote. Now, this lawsuit comes after the Supreme Court just last week refused to block the controversy controversial law. President Biden has vowed a, quote, whole of government response to the law. We're live in the newsroom right now. I'm Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC 2 News.